listening to Clarity on Fire, a podcast for people who know what they don't want out of their life and career, but aren't sure what they'd rather be doing. In a world where it's easy to exist, but hard to feel alive, we, Kristen and Rachel, two certified life and career coaches, are here to help you cut through the information overload, get unstuck, and focus not just on how you can have a career you're passionate about, but how to create a whole life that feels fulfilling. So join us here, where we serve up inspiration and down-to-earth wisdom in a way that only two best friends can. We want you to experience the relief of knowing that, yes, you're allowed to want more out of your life and career. And no, you don't have to wander through the dark anymore. Our job is to light the fire that shows you the way. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Clarity on Fire. This is an episode, particularly if you are brand new, doesn't matter if you've been listening to us for five years and you just like listening to us and you want to hear this, that's fine. (laughs) But if you are new to Clarity on Fire, we wanted to leave this here because as we announced in our most recent episode before this, we are taking an hiatus of indeterminate length. We will be back. We are not done podcasting. But while we are gone... Uh, We know that one of the benefits of finding us is that we have hundreds of episodes. We've been podcasting for five years, which means almost every week with only a few breaks in those five years, which means that's a lot of episodes. That's a lot of backlog. Close to 400 at this point. Um, And the negative thing about finding us is that we have that many episodes. (laughs) So (laughs) I thought I would make it easier for you if you are new to clarity on fire and you are intrigued and you want to explore i'm going to introduce ourselves really quick and then i'm going to give you a list a top 10 list of episodes you can start with if that helps you feel more organized i like feeling organized so hi we're also going to put these in the episode description so we're going to tell you what they are but then if you want an easier way to get to them we will have that listed right below yeah and or on our website Mm -hmm. so okay hi i'm rachel and I'm Kristen. Yeah, that, that we don't often introduce <laughs> ourselves. This is very weird. <laughs> okay, so why might you have found Clarity on Fire? I'm going to give you a few ideas of why you might be here. I mean, not how you got here. I'm sure a friend told you about this or you took the passion profile quiz. Let's start there, okay? Kristen and I, our claim to fame is probably the passion profile quiz, which if you haven't taken it, just stop. You got to go take the passion <laughs> profile quiz, clarityonfire.com slash quiz. It is 11 questions. It'll take you about two minutes. And the reason that it is popular and the reason that we have not been able to stop talking about it for about a decade now is because it helps you define the intersection between your career and your passion in a way that no one else, and I'm not saying this to brag, I'm saying this as a just fact of the matter, no one else talks about combining work with your passion in this way, because everyone is obsessed with talking about how do you, how do I find my passion and what is your passion? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? That is not how we approach things. We start with how do you want to work? How do you want to combine your work with the things that you want to do in a way that aligns with who you are, how you're wired and the kind of lifestyle that you want to live? We are way more interested in helping you squeeze the most juice out of your life and career as possible. We want your career to be put to work for you. We do not want to put you to work in a career. That is what the Passion Profile Quiz helps you get clear on. It's kind of like trying to find what you want to put into a jar before you have a jar. So let's say you want to take uh, you want to take a snack <laughs> to work and you want to put some berries in a jar, but you have no jar. So what are you just going to handle some berries on your way to work and get all smushed up? Like it doesn't, this is a weird analogy, but yeah, I'm really waiting for this to pay off. Go ahead. <laughs> it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. If you have a container first and you know, this is, this is, the correct size container of what I want, then what you put in it gets a lot easier to determine. If you, and that's what the passion profile quiz is helping you do, is helping you define your container, the container of how you are meant to work. And then 
figuring out what you want to do in that context that you just very clearly defined gets way easier to figure out. Yeah. It's a much harder question to ask yourself, what do I want to do with no parameters around it? It's completely overwhelming and you will go into analysis paralysis if you've got some containers around, here are some of the values that I know are important to me in terms of the context of how I'm working. Then figuring out the what turns it into a much easier endeavor. So that's why we start there. And it's not the sexiest place to start. I know that's not the question you have probably been asked your whole life or have, or have been asking yourself your whole life. But this is going to help you answer yeah. that sexier question. I promise. Okay. Another reason you might be here is that you don't think life should be all about your career. And I agree. Mm -hmm. And what you might be craving is a whole life that feels fulfilling, not just a job. And you might be suspecting that there's a lot more to fulfillment than just figuring out, what do I want to do? And you might be suspecting that, hmm, I'm a whole person who is complex and has a history and has baggage and has fears and has beliefs and might be taking those with me in every aspect of my life, not just my career. And what if I went back to sort of square zero and that's square one? Well, whatever. There's gotta be something before square one, square zero. <laughs> square half, point five. <laughs> no, square nine and three quarters. Um, what if I went back to the very beginning and got clear on, wait, who am I? Like before the world told me who to be, before I got traumatized and we all have trauma, little T trauma, big T trauma, we all have it. What if I got clear on who I was before all of that happened and how did my nervous system get wired in a way that might be affecting how I show up in my life and at work? How, what do I really want? Not like on a surface level, but on a deeper level, what are the things that I want my life to revolve around? I say you might be you know, asking some deeper existential questions. Really, what existential is the point questions. of all of this? And yes. who am I? And what would I do if I felt free of all of my own limitations and the world's limitations? All of those deep, bigger questions. That's our favorite thing yeah. to get into. That's pretty much what the world we're swimming in all the time. Yep. And that's where our podcast goes. We are not just here to get you a new job. Don't care that about that, not... to be frank. <laughs> <laughs> that is not, that ends up becoming true for a lot of people who work with us yeah. and are in our community because the more you learn about who you are and what you really want, the clearer you get on what is going to align with that throughout the whole context of your life. And that includes work and that includes relationships and that includes all kinds of things. Uh, so if if work feels like the biggest thing that's misaligned, that's normal for people who find us. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's the only thing. And usually, mm -mm. I mean, I would say almost never it's the only thing. Uh, so if you're looking for deeper fulfillment in life, period, welcome. You yeah. have come to the right place. Yeah. And if you might be mistaking an existential crisis for just a career problem, you're going to get sorted out here. Okay, Because mm -hmm. a lot of people be coming here and they think, oh, I just need to find a new job. And then they get well, they get a rude, but actually it's like half pleasant, half rude. Right. <laughs> Awakening. Tough love. Yeah, they get tough love here. That makes them realize, oh, I think I've I think I'm having like a full scale existential crisis that is just presenting as a career conundrum. Mm -hmm. And so we will help you dive into that and help you solve that. This is ultimately a place and a podcast for you if you would like to live more in alignment with how you are wired on so many levels. Introvert, extrovert, masculine energy, feminine energy. We'll talk more about what that means in some of the episodes I'm going to recommend to you. Mm -hmm. um, your passion profile. There are so many things that make you uniquely you. And that make you wired in a, in a very particular way. And if you do not work and live in alignment with how you are wired, life is going to be unnecessarily hard. Work is going to feel unnecessarily hard. And there is a, there's a lot of work and self-discovery that a person needs to do to uncover how they're wired and then give themselves permission to live accordingly. And also to heal 
a lot of the things that might have been miswired in them and a lot of the shame that they might feel about being just who they are on again on so many levels. So that is our that's always been our mission, even if we haven't always said it. We want you to feel like you have permission to live and work in a way that allows you to be yourself. And when you do that, working will start to feel more like living, which is the goal. I don't want people to feel like they're working all the time. I want you to just feel like you're living your best life Mm -hmm. and you become the best version of yourself. And that person inevitably gets awesome things, becomes a magnet for opportunity, for jobs, for relationships. That is what I want for you. And if that's who you want to be, then keep listening. So again, if you're new, there's a lot of ways that you could start to explore the hundreds of episodes that we have already done over the past five years. You could do a little bit of podcast roulette, just scroll down and see where your finger lands and listen to that episode and trust it's the right message for today. You could, if if there's a certain type of episode that you really are interested in, you could go to our website. We have a whole searchable library of all the episodes. So you could say you want to look at book club episodes. We've done a lot of different book reviews mm-hmm. over the years. If you like interviews, we've done interviews with experts. We've done interviews with normal people. And you just get to hear their journey of going from stuck and unhappy to in a much better place and hear what that was like for them and get a little bit inspired. We have side chats where Rachel and I just kind of riff on some topic of the month, or we share some philosophy that's important to us that we think would be really valuable for you to hear. So if there's certain types or certain subjects, and go don't search. even don't forget, dear Rachel. We have an advice column once of a month. Of course, we answer listener dear questions. Dear so, dear Rachel's there. There's so many ways you can go back to the beginning, and you can literally listen to every episode from the beginning if you want to. You can again go to our website, clarityonfire.com/library. You can search for any subject you can think of. I promise you, an episode will pop up around <laughs> it. Okay. However, but if all of that is too overwhelming, yes, we also have collated a list. That's probably some of the best episodes to start with if you're new and you kind of want to get a sense of what we're all about and what we think would be most valuable for you to start with. A lot of these episodes are more recent because, as you might imagine, when you've been podcasting for five years, your message gets honed over that time and you get better at articulating what people's issues are and how to solve them. So... We're going to just read this list to you just so that you have a sense. And I'm also going to put this list in the show notes, which you can access either, you know, in your podcast app, or you can go to clarityonfire.com. You can hit the podcast tab. This will be the main thing that you'll see on that page because we're not going to be publishing any episodes Mm -hmm. after it for quite some time. So, okay. Episode number one, and I would recommend listening in basically the order that we are saying them in just for maximum clarity. Okay. So episode number one is a side chat. Actually, most of these are side chats. And that's because that's where I feel like we get the deepest into our style and our philosophy and where I feel like if you're new, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Okay. So side chat, six ways to love and keep your job for years and years. That's from May, 2022. That is an excellent list of like core things you need to know that you probably don't and that other people aren't telling you about career and life fulfillment. In fact, this one turned out to be so helpful for so many of our listeners that in January of 2023, we came back and gave you six more ways to have a career you love. So that's number two on the list. Also a side chat. And similar style of the first one, but six completely different things. So now you've got a full list of 12 12. (laughs) ways to have a career that feels really aligned for you. If you only listen to those two, I'd be fine. Like, you'd know a lot if you just listen to those two. And pro tip, in every one of these episodes, we probably mention episodes related to that that you could go explore. (laughs) So this is like a a rabbit's warren situation here, okay? (laughs) You can really branch off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all the way down that rabbit hole. (laughs) The third episode on this list is 
a, a personal favorite. It's side chat. Why obsessing over your career doesn't work from March of 2022. This starts in one place and ends in a completely different place and goes so deep and is such a good conversation. Highly recommend. The next one on our list, why career coaching has almost nothing to do with your career from October of 2020. I love this because there is a big misperception, misconception. There you go. Uh, <laughs> just mix some words here. Uh, about what career coaching is. A lot of people think it is strictly about the process of changing jobs. There is so, at least the way that we approach career coaching is so much deeper, so much more holistic that it ends up not really being about your career for like most of coaching. Not but the way you think it's going to be. Your career will absolutely be positively impacted. Yes. along with everything else. So we're going to get into that. Okay. The next is a side chat. It's called a deep dive into emotional maturity. That is from February of 2023. And oh boy, do I love thinking and talking about emotional maturity these days, because it is a huge reason why people are stuck or why they're blocked or why they can't get over an issue with a boss or why they're in a toxic culture. All of it gets back to emotional maturity. Next one on our list, how attachment theory plays out at work. That one was from May 2022. Oh, I'm sorry. This... May 2023. That's a typo. Oh, we just did that last month. Yeah, I was going to say that's, wow, that went fast or slow. I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's like, time is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one, it, it, most of you have probably heard of attachment theory by now, and it's almost always applied to the context of romantic relationships. But you're going to hear in this episode, we feel very strongly that it is just as impactful, arguably, possibly more impactful at work. And we're going to tell you how that plays out and give a lot of examples and, and also help you figure out how to start having healthier attachment in your workplace. Okay. The next one, again, this is also a side chat. They're all side chats. <laughs> the top <laughs> questions to ask yourself when job searching, according to Passion Profile, that's from April of this year, 2023. Um, this is a more practical episode, which I find helpful that if you are looking for a job and you want one that aligns with your Passion Profile, these are just some really quick filter questions that you can keep in mind to help you stay on track and find a job that's really aligned with how you're wired and more on a minute. If you want more details about passion profiles in particular, I'm going to, I'm going to hook you up with some info about that. Next one. I think we're on number eight, honing your intuition and knowing when it's really fear. This one is from back in June, 2019, probably one of the most common questions we get. Yeah. I don't know if I'm if what I'm feeling is my intuition guiding me to something or maybe away from something or if it's my fear trying to shut something down because I'm afraid of failing or I'm afraid of being disappointed or there's some old fear resurfacing. So we're going to help you get a better handle on how to determine what what your intuition sounds like and when your fear might be masquerading as intuition. Okay, second to last one we got here, how to actually do feminine energy. That's from June of 2021. Um, feminine energy and masculine energy are two things Kristen and I talk about all the time and you need to get it if you're going to listen to this podcast at all and you're going to love learning about it because it's not something a lot of people talk about, especially in like more just normal circles. You hear it a lot in like woo-woo circles, which is fine, but I feel like we should be talking about it in a work context, like so much more than anyone ever does. And it's so freeing. And this one is in particular how to implement more feminine energy, which the vast majority of our listeners are craving. I can guarantee. Along those same lines, our last one on this list is actually also our oldest one, but I stand by it. Absolutely. How to work like a woman in a world that doesn't want you to. And this is along that same vein of feminine energy 
and how most workplaces are very mired in masculine energy. And if that is not how you are wired, there is going to be a feeling of exhaustion or of misalignment, or it's going to feel like you're constantly clashing with the demands of your work. And so this is a whole new way to view work and what you might need out of your career if you are looking for something that fits more of the feminine energy mold, which again, we will explain more in both of those last two episodes. So if this is, if you're like, what are you talking about? I don't know. Like, what is this <laughs> masculine feminine energy? It's, it may not be what you're thinking. Don't worry. We're going to give you more about that. But again, like Rachel, Rachel said, trust us. It's going to blow your mind. Um, and that one's from April, 2018. It's literally one of the first five episodes we dropped when we dropped the podcast for the first time we did it in, I think we put five out at once. So that's literally the first episode, one of the first episodes ever <laughs> from Clarity on Fire. So you've got everything. You've got everything from A to Z here on this list. It's a really, really solid place to start. I will, again, put this in the show notes. Um, and, okay, let's say you're new to Clarity on Fire. You haven't even taken the passion profile quiz, or maybe that's all you've done so far. If you want more in-depth specifically around passion profiles, a great option is our free workshop which is clarityonfire.com slash workshop. It's a little over an hour. It's maybe like 75 minutes, like an hour and 15 minutes or so. And we get into more detail around the four passion profiles and, you know, how they work and how they can help you start moving in the direction of getting unstuck and getting um, clarity instead of confusion. And actually finding career direction. So that's what I recommend if you want to dive more into your passion profile, start with our free workshop. Okay. Have we given you enough places to start? Does <laughs> it's it a great feel place a little bit less start. overwhelming? It's a great place to start. <laughs> and then also, if you, uh, again, if you're new, I would, I would do all, I would start listening. I would do the workshop. And if at any point you're like, wait, I, I need help know that just because we're on a podcast hiatus does not mean we're not available. So we have a course, Passion Profile Short Course, if you want an even deeper experience on uncovering your passion profile and using it to chart your career direction. I would start with the workshop and then you actually get a nice discount on the course. I'm just telling you this as a free tip. <laughs> you get a huge <laughs> discount on our course if you do the workshop first. Um and we also are still available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. We do offer 75-minute coaching sessions. They're called power hours. So if you like the idea of working with us one-on-one, -on -one, but you're not sure if you want to commit to months of working with us, that's a really great thing to do. And you can find those at clarityonfire.com. You can go to the work with us tab and you'll see power hours as an option. And you can sign up for one. And we will, we would email you within a day or two to schedule it. And we can focus on anything you want to focus on in that 75 minutes. And uh, we can get a lot done in that short yes. period of time. Yes, we can. Uh, and don't be afraid if it's, if you want to bring in something that's not career related, don't. As, as you will find out as you <laughs> yeah. listen to this list of 10 episodes, anything goes. It all relates because you are not a siloed person who exists in separate categories of life. You are a holistic person and every piece of your life affects every other piece of your life. So bring whatever is feeling the most current or the most uh, uncertain at this moment and we'll dig in. Mm -hmm. So again, welcome. Welcome to our little piece of the interwebs. Oh my god. <laughs> You always embarrass know. me sometimes with your elderliness. Uh, yeah, I'm. I Rachel will tell you, I'm about an 83 year old woman on the inside. I think you're like a sprightly 78. You know, that's <laughs> we're, weird. We're in some ways I'm older than you, and in some ways I'm oh, younger than you. I am literally Regardless, a little we're two younger old broads. than you, but we are two old broads. There's no denying in that. Younger bodies. <laughs> I just know more about TikTok than she does. Oh, well, everybody knows more about TikTok than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not my grandpa, because he doesn't have the internet. But other than that... <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not the worst in the world. Um, but yes, we would love to talk to some of you if you want to work with us in our course or in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or a whole package. Or if you just love hearing us in your ear while you're washing the dishes or taking the dog for a walk, that's great too. We've got plenty to fill your head with <laughs> from our years of talking into this microphone. Okay. Enjoy. And we look forward to giving you new content, even though all of this is new to you if you just got here, um, whenever we're back from our hiatus. So we'll see you then. See you then.